Hello and welcome back to episode 2 of Homegrown Heroes here with Athletic Club Bilbao and we're on the page of Nico Williams to start things off and have a look at the player of the player that we're designed to showcase at the start of this episode and he's been one of the bright sparks of the season so far which isn't the best when you see that he's only had two goals and one assist and it kind of lets you know how we've been doing so far and I think you'll remember last time out I said I wanted us to be on 15 to 20 points after first after the first 10 games which if we have a look you'll see we're in the 10th position but we have managed to get 15 points which you know is the lower end of where I wanted to be our main problem has been scoring goals we haven't been defending poorly at all we've been defending well but we've only scored seven goals in 10 games which is nowhere near good enough we've only scored in five matches so far and we've won four of those five games uh, and the other one was a 1-1 draw against Atletico Madrid but yeah we've conceded six goals in 10 games which is really good but we've only scored seven which is dreadful if you look at our schedule over here things started off really poorly we obviously got the draw against Atletico Madrid which is good we then drew 0-0 to Mallorca which we should have won we lost 2-0 to Levante which was an even game then we managed to get three wins in a row against Real Betis, Barcelona and Alaves with Inaki Williams and Nico Williams uh, scoring two of our three goals we drew 0-0 away to Cadiz before losing 1-0 at Celta Vigo. We then beat Getafe 2-0 thanks to two late goals with Raul Garcia. And we lost 1-0 to Granada in the last episode where I tried to rest a few players. Um, but I then had to bring them on off the bench. So, yeah. Um, and now we've got Real Madrid, Real Sociedad and Valencia in our next two games before Espanyol, Sevilla and Villarreal. So things don't get any easier. Um, at all do they they really don't but in terms of how the team is playing Danny Vivian has been our best player by far he's been fantastic but he literally just got injured so he's going to be missing probably both games this episode because they're two games in a week our poorest performances have definitely been from our fullbacks they have been absolutely dreadful our backup fullback though uh, Mikel Balenciaga hasn't been too bad so I'm thinking of starting him uh, in one of the two games, because I played Yuri against um, against Granada in the last episode, and he he was better, um, but he's only just come back from his injury that he's been out from all uh, all the season really. So yeah, let's take a look at the team. You can see Danny Vivian can't play now, so he's gonna be coming off for Inigo Martinez, and we are gonna be playing Inigo on the left, and. Yeah, I, I'm going to keep Raul Garcia and Inaki Williams on the right. These midfield two have been the two best players in the team. Vencedor and Sanche have been very, very good for us. I'm going to bring on Balenciaga and I'm going to keep Kappa on. I have had a go at Balenciaga, uh, Baringa, sorry, and Kappa uh, between episodes uh, just before this game. Sorry, I just warned them about their, their recent form and told them they've been dreadful, basically. But I think we'll leave things like that. And we've got a game away to Real Madrid, who are top of the league, I believe. So this is going to be a very tough game. Toughest game of the season, in my opinion. So Real Madrid are actually playing a 4-4-2 formation. So this will be interesting. I don't think we've played anyone using a 4-4-2 just yet. The kits are very similar there. It would have made sense for us to play our red and white kit, no, rather than our pale light, like a pale mint green kit. But yeah, Real Madrid have a very strong team in terms of football manager. Let's see how we get on. The first highlight is actually ours with Balenciaga, who I've just brought into the team, taking the throw in. And we've got some nice, well, I thought it was some nice play down this left-hand side, but we gave the ball away right as I said now. I said that, sorry. And now Benzema has the ball out, out wide, but it's a really good tackle from Inigo Martinez. And we managed to get the ball cleared, but it's just cleared straight to a Real Madrid player. And they've got the ball back, and it's a really nice ball in, but Jovic couldn't quite get on the end of it. They've still got the ball though. Eden Hazard has... How have we let Eden Hazard do that? I'm not sure how good Eden Hazard is on FM, but I'm sorry. But who Who is this? Is that Unai Nunes? It is. Just completely let him run past him. Unai Nunes has definitely been the weakest of my three centre-backs. He is the one that I'm going to be dropping when Danny Vivian and Inigo Martinez are both fit. But he shouldn't be letting someone do that to him. 
this sums up our luck, doesn't it? Inaki Williams, who hasn't missed a game in a crazy amount of time in real life, has just got himself injured and we're going to have to make a substitution. So it's half time and we are getting absolutely battered. So I'm going to say you've been terrible so far, sorted out. The keeper is a bit pissed off, but apart from that, everyone's quite happy, which is nice to see. I'm going to make some substitutions as well. We haven't been offered anything from and a kappa yet again so he is motivated body language though so i think i'll leave him on actually bring on yuri um who's just a better player than mikhail balenciaga in every way so let's see if that makes a difference and i'm gonna take off i'm not gonna take off an ego martinez just yet i'm gonna take off raul garcia for villa Ibra and see if he can have if he can improve things up front I've gone more positive over here on a mentality because we, because we still haven't really offered anything. Real Madrid have made a few substitutions now. And I think we're going to need to do the same with Anigo Martinez down on a 6.1 rating. That is absolutely dreadful. Peruna Laskin could come on and Ander Kappa is going to come off for Demarcus as well. And I think that's actually all the substitutions we can make. What a dreadful performance. We didn't manage a shot on target. If that doesn't sum up our season so far, then I don't know what does. We're just terrible in front of goal. I'm not going to say we gave it your best effort. I'm going to say I wasn't happy with that because I wasn't. Unai Vencedor did have a decent game. 6.8, that's not dreadful. And that is even worse news there. Inaki Williams is out for four to five months with a broken lower leg. That is so disappointing. I don't know when the last time Inaki Williams missed a game, but I know he recently set a record for the most Liga appearances in a row. And I come in and he's going to broke his leg. So here we are. The time has come for Derby Day. They have a very strong side. Definitely better than our team right now, but hopefully we will rectify that in the coming years. They have the predicted lineup in the bottom left. You can see Ramiro in goal. A uh, centre back partnership of Le Normand and Elistondo, which is very strong. Mikel Marino, who I'm very tempted to try sign and probably would have done if our defend, uh, centre mid partnership hasn't been so strong. Iremendi and David Silva as well to make a midfield three that is very scary. And Yazabel and Isaac, uh, left wing and striker, are some of their notable players. I don't really know what to do in terms of our squad. I do think we need to have a new tactic because the full backs have been dreadful. The back three and midfield two have been very good. And we don't score enough. So I'm thinking of switching to something with a two up top formation. Yeah. You can just see by our average ratings, the there's no one really that's been good enough. Um... I can't really play Danny Vivian, can I? In terms of other players, I would like to give Yuri a start. But Balenciaga has been really good overall. Ander Kappa needs to go. Like He's been dreadful. Ander Kappa really does need to go. We'll bring on Demarcus over there. Um, and I might give Nico Serrano a go. Just give him a start and think, you know, throw him in the deep and like, what's the worst that can happen? No, I'll bring him off the bench. I've moved him up from the B team uh, recently. Well, when Inaki Williams got injured, because I'm like, he will be our backup right winger. Like, there's no one else here that will be a backup right winger. So, yeah, um, Nico Serrano will be the backup right winger. Where is he? Right winger, even. Down here. Morcio as well, but I tend to bring Morcio on the left a bit more than on the right, even though he is a right winger. So yeah, Morcio as well, actually. Thinking about it, will come on there anyway. Let's get into the game, and hopefully we can have a bit of a better performance than last time, but I'm not expecting too much. Here we go, the first highlight is Demarcus. Somehow he's kept the ball there. Nico Williams, wow. That was dreadful football, not really good football. Somehow we managed to get a shot away. But we do get a corner from it. And Unai Nunes again has just blasted it over. I really want to drop him. Um, I don't know what it is. He's just not, like, impressed me at all. It looks like the wing-backs have had a bit of a better game, just as I was thinking, oh no, who's injured now? Oh, it's Sansei. Sansei has been so good for us so far. Whereas Danny Garcia, I think Danny Garcia is going to be the one that I'm going to be bringing on. 
or Mikel Vesga. I'll bring I'll bring on Danny Garcia. Um, oh, that is so frustrating. He's been so good for us, Sansa has, and we've actually been the better team so far. You can see Real Sociedad did haven't had a shot on target, so hopefully that doesn't disrupt our flow because he's been fantastic this season. I know his attributes are all going down. I don't know why they're all going down, but yeah, he has been one of my one of my favourite players so far this season. Free kick whipped in from Balenciaga, but unfortunately they managed to head it clear, but it's only as far as Danny Garcia. Let's see if we can keep the ball and fashion an opportunity from this attack. That's a really nice attempt there from uh, Inigo Martinez, but unfortunately it's cut out by the Real Sociedad back line. We've still got the ball though, come on. Back to Inigo Martinez. We're just going to play it around the back for a little bit. Nico Williams is free. It goes out wide to DeMarc DeMarcos instead, who whips it in. Money and calm in the header at the back post, though, but we've still got the ball. Inigo Martinez seems to be involved in everything here. Yeah, Nico, Mar Nico Williams, sorry. Raul Garcia, you've missed the ball. That was the opportunity right there, wasn't it? That was it. It's Real Sociedad's turn to have their first highlight of the game. And they've scored it. We are so bad at defending crosses into the box. I feel like every single goal we concede is a cross into the box. Who is this this time? Number three. That is not even number three. Oh, it is number three. It's Nunes again. It's Nunes again. One shot. One shot on target. 0.12 xG. And they're beating us 1-0 at half time. We have been the better team here. We definitely have. We've got over 1 XG. I don't know how Raul Garcia missed the ball. Um, let's go pump fists. Um, and let, let's do this. That did not work at all. I'm going to say I expect more from you guys. Um, here we go. Let's say that. That didn't really work. This. That worked. Okay. Inigo Martins is on the 6.3, but I don't think he's been so bad. Uriah is on a 6.3. I don't think he's been so bad. Maybe he hasn't done much off the ball. Let's bring on Nolaskin. What's his name again? L Nolaskoin. I'm going to call him Nolaskin. It's much easier. He is motivated, so hopefully he'll be able to put in a decent performance for us. Unai Vencedor is quite tired, so he'll probably have to come off before the end of the game. And maybe Munein as well. They brought on Porto as a box-to-box -box midfielder. That's interesting. I thought Porto was a right winger. Here we go. We've got the ball down the left-hand side. Balenciaga whips in and Nico Williams has managed to win the header. We've got the equaliser. Come on, we can go ahead and win this. We've got over 1.2 xG. Once again, another one of our highlights has come from this left-hand side. Balenciaga with a good ball whipped in and Nico Williams rises above the defence to win the header. We've got a free kick now. Raul Garcia, this is your time to shine. Come on. I thought he scored. I genuinely thought he scored that right there. 20 minutes to go. We're going to make some substitutions. And Igor Martinez is down to a 6.2 rating. I don't know how that's happened. We've got nobody that can play there anyway, so we'll leave him on. In terms of uh, substitutions, we don't want Raul Garcia on playing like this. It's going to have to be Villa Libre on. I'm not, I've got no confidence whatsoever in Villa Libre. Let's turn him to a pressing forward and see if that will be any better. Munian's having a great game, but he's going to have to come off. We're going to bring on Nico Serrano. I want Nico Serrano to do something. Not going to play him as an advanced playmaker. I'm going to play him as a as a winger and I'm going to make him get in behind and whip those balls into Villa Libre. I'm not sure how tall Villa Libre is. Six foot, but Nico Williams is quite tall as well. I'm not sure if Nico Williams is tall, but he always seems to win headers. And we'll bring off Uno Vencedor, who's been a great player for us so far this season. We'll bring on Mikel Vesga. Are these guys better this way around, perhaps? There's no difference. We'll just play them like that then. That is our five substitutions. We are going to leave on Inigo Martinez. That might be a mistake on his poor performance so far, but hopefully we'll be okay. And we've got 20 minutes to get the, get the W here. Here we go. Mikel Vesga just come on the pitch to Demarcus. Danny Garcia now. We need to make sure we don't lose this ball here because if we lose this ball, this could be dreadful because we do commit a lot of people forward. What a ball. Nico Serrano. He's hit the bar. 
Would that have been a debut? I think he's played one more game before for us already. Yeah, he's played a few times actually, but oh, that would have been his first goal for the club. That was a really nice ball for Villa Libra as well. I'm keeping Inigo Martinez on. I need to keep him on the pitch. We need to get at least a point here. Hopefully we can get a win. A win will be so big for us in this Bash derby. It looks like the final highlight of the game here. Demarcus whipped this ball into Villa Libra. He's free. He had time to take a touch there. It's a really good save from the Sociedad keeper. And we are going to get a corner kick from it as well. But Villa Libre, you can do much better there. You could have chested it down. <gasps> Unai Nunes! Unai Nunes in the 92nd minute has got us the winner. Surely that's the winner. We're going to go defensive. I don't even care. We're protecting this 2-1 lead. It's a lovely ball in from Danny Garcia. His first appearance of the season. And Unai Nunes, the man who is dreadful in the air, has leapt like an absolute salmon. And he's won the header. But Real Sociedad have a highlight straight from kickoff. Of course they do. That's yours, DeMarcos. He plays it back to the goalkeeper who just hoofs it clear. Villa Libre, for some reason, doesn't challenge it. But he win he almost wins the ball back. But they've still got the ball. This is nervy stuff here in the Basque Derby. We're at home here. And boy would the supporters love to see us win. But he has the ball. It's the bar in the final minute. Oh my god. I thought that was a goal. That would have been a fantastic finish from Mikel Ayasabel. And surely, surely that's enough. Ten seconds to go on the clock. Waste all the time you can, Uno, Simon. Get a yellow card for all I care. Just don't lose the ball here, guys. Do not lose this ball, and the referee will blow the whistle. Danny Garcia. Lovely ball through to Serrano. I'll tell you what, can we get a third? Surely this is enough. It's a great tackle from Zubimendi, but surely, referee, blow your whistle. Oh my god, Villa Libre almost just scored. I was just thinking the whistle was about to be blown, and we've got a win. That is a huge win. The substitutions really made a difference. Danny Garcia played very well with an assist. Unai Nunes got a goal, just as I was saying I was going to drop him. I'm still going to drop him straight up, but we've we've beat Real Sociedad. We have bragging rights in the Basque region, and oh, I don't know what I've just pressed, but yeah, positive. We'll be positive all the way because we've gone ahead and we've got a win against Real San Sebastian. That puts us up to 8th place, 18 points from 12 games. I'm not sure who we're going to play in the next episode. Sansei is out for six weeks. Inigo Martinez is only out for three days, so he'll be back for the Valencia game, which is another big game. Oh, but how much are we going to play off camera? Is it the back-to-back -back Atletico Madrid games? Is that what we're going to have to do? That's all the way to January, though. Do we, we're going to want to play those two games, aren't we? Yeah, let's, let's play those two. There's quite a few games off camera. Um, it's like, well, it's only seven games off camera, but it's over a big period of time. So, yeah, for episode three, we'll be playing a double header against Atletico Madrid. Where's this game? The King Fahd International Stadium. That's in Saudi Arabia. Who plays there? Is it? Saudi Arabia, it's Al Shabab and Saudi Arabia. Okay, I don't know why we're playing over here. How many fans turned up to that game? Fifty-three thousand fans. Is that that's a joint? Is that the capacity of the stadium by any chance? Fifty-three thousand three hundred thirty-two at San Mamez. Yeah, we had the full. I don't know why I can, can't click on this, but okay, we had the full capacity there. Everybody was there. And something some of you might have wanted to have a look at was our B team as well. Our B team are not doing very well right now. Let's just say that. The 18th in the first Division A. I'm not sure what... Is this the third tier? Okay, this is the third tier. So there is the division below this loaded. But anyway, that is where we're going to leave things. Nico Williams and Unai Nunes were the two goal scorers in our 2-1 victory against Real San Sebastian after a dreadful performance against Real Madrid. Next time out, we'll have back-to-back -back games against Atletico Madrid. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.